following show is paid program and does not necessarily express the views and opinions of Urban Broadcast Media and its subsidiaries. Thank you for listening to UBM Praise. Let's go. A Sir Walter Jones. With it. A Sir Walter Jones. What's his name? A Sir Walter Jones. What show is this? A Sir Walter Jones. With it. A Sir Walter Jones. Say it again. A Sir Walter Jones. Who are you with? A Sir Walter Jones. One more game. A Sir Walter Jones. The Sir Walter Jones Show. Co-host Alvin Carter. We are a Christian talk show in where we tackle all the hot topics in a believer's walk. A Sir Walter Jones. Who is it? A Sir Walter Jones. What's his name? A Sir Walter Jones. Who show is this? A Sir Walter Jones. Who is it? A Sir Walter Jones. Say it again. A Sir Walter Jones. It's Fireside Friday. Sit back, relax, grab some tea and crumpets, and let's talk about the current events of the week. Right here on the Sir Walter Jones Show. I am a most unhappy man. I have unwittingly ruined my country. A great industrial nation is now controlled by its system of credit. We are no longer a government by free opinion, no longer a government by conviction and the vote of the majority, but a government by the opinion and duress of a small group of dominant men. Woodrow Wilson. The Federal Reserve Act was passed during the Christmas vacation of 1913, when few congressmen were in town, and those same few congressmen helped pass the income tax amendment shortly thereafter. The Federal Reserve Act was never ratified by the required three-fourths of the states. As a matter of fact, only two states ever correctly ratified the act. In 1935, the Supreme Court declared that an organization such as the privately owned Federal Reserve was unconstitutional. And the henchman organization, the IRS, is not really an organization within the United States Department of Treasury. In the case of Chrysler Court v. Brown, the U.S. Supreme Court admitted that no organic act for the IRS could be found. In fact, no law can be found which requires American citizens to pay taxes on their wages. The IRS, a private collection agency working for foreign banks, specifically the owners of the Federal Reserve, operate out of Puerto Rico under the Federal Alcohol Administration, which was declared unconstitutional by the U.S. Supreme Court in the case of U.S. v. Constantine in 35. Please research the legality of these two private enterprises at freedomthefascism.com and supremelaw.org. Who does own the Federal Reserve Banks? Numerous private banking companies, such as the Rothschild Bank of London, Warburg Bank of Hamburg, Rothschild Bank of Berlin, and Lazard Brothers of Paris, just to name a few. Does our tax money pay for government services we use every day? No. 100% of individual income tax revenue goes to the Federal Reserve Banks to pay interest only on the federal debt. Not one nickel is spent on government services. Don't be fooled by empty promises of politicians or the lies of mainstream media. No hero is coming to give us our freedom back from these bankers. Only we can do that. And the freedom of our children depends on you and me and all the freedom-loving people of this great country. I believe in us, and I implore you to research for yourself, and then please take action. For more information, please visit thepriceofliberty.org. GiveMeLiberty.org, CampaignForLiberty.com, and EndTheFed.us. Hello, everybody. So welcome to the Sir Walter Jones Show. I'm here. It's Friday. 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 Fireside Friday. So the man of mine can talk to you about stuff. Politics, religion, racism, community, current events. That's what we do on, on Fridays. Or Friday around this time, 4 o'clock, on UBM Networks or UrbanBroadcastMedia.com. I would prefer y'all go to the TuneIn app, though, because some of y'all are having problems with the UBM Networks thing. So go to TuneIn. Just go to the TuneIn app. Tell everybody, please, y'all. Just tell them, listen, the So Walter Jones Show is hot. But go and download the TuneIn app and just type in uh, UBM Praise. And we're right there. TuneIn app. It's a little more uh, more faithful than that other stuff. Mm-hmm. Is it more tuned in? Yeah, it's more tuned in. All right. You, you'll find us there. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. 
We getting ready to go there. This is the show that I'm just gonna just let obviously kind of teach us a lesson. I don't know about <laughs> this. We're talking about conspiracy theorists. And oh, it's and it looks like uh Facebook have already uh, uh well they act they got the spirit of Alvin is on Facebook right about now. Doody 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 Yes sir. If you listen to the opening bite, sound bite, uh, they were talking about the Federal Reserve, all right, which I consider a major, major Ponzi scheme. The Federal Reserve and IRS, today is tax day, usually in America. You guys will be uh, pulling together your 1040s, 1048s, 1040s, W's, W's, Well, you should have gathered that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right, yeah, the 9s and the 4s, the 1099s, okay. <laughs> You owe me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> All of it is a Ponzi scheme. And what is a Ponzi scheme? A Ponzi, a Ponzi scheme is a fraudulent investment operation where the operator, an individual or an organization, pays returns to its investors from new capital paid to the operator by new investors rather than from profit earned through legitimate sources. Uh, operators of Ponzi schemes usually entice new investors by offering higher returns than other investments in the form of short-term returns that, that are either abnormally high or unusually uh, c- uh, consistent. The Ponzi schemes occasionally began as legitimate businesses. Okay, we look at Madoff, Bernie, who kind of made off with y'all's money. It started off legitimate until the business uh, fails to achieve the return expected. The business becomes a Ponzi scheme if it then continues under fraudulent terms. Whether the initial situation or the perpetuation of the high return requires an ever-increasing flow of money from new investors to sustain this particular scheme. All right. So it came from Charles Ponzi, by the way. Chucky. Yeah, oh, Chucky. Uh huh. Yeah. Charles he, Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Uh, and I guess uh, uh, Madoff is the seed of Chucky, huh? Uh, Ponzi, yeah. Charles, who became notorious for using the technique in 1920. The idea uh, present in uh, novels, uh, for example, Charles Dickens, 1844 novel, Martin uh, Chuzlowit, and 1870, 1857 novel, Little Dorrit, each describe such a, a scheme, uh, was actually uh, performed in a real life, real life by Ponzi, Charles, that is, who, with his operation, took in so much money that it was the first to become known throughout the United States. Ponzi's original scheme was based on, uh, let's see. Uh, Happy uh, days? The, well, no. <laughs> oh, P- Ponzi, not yeah. Ponzi. Okay. Hey. Yo, hey, up your nose with a rubber hose. Uh, the yes, arbitrary. Welcome back, Carter. Yeah, sure is. Isn't it? <laughs> hey, okay, all right, I read it here. <laughs> Look over here, over here. Everything's the over here. Conspiracy here, too. <laughs> 70 sitcoms. <laughs> the art, but well, you know, spinoffs, right? Um, <laughs> the ar- the arbitrage of uh, international reply coupons for postal stamps. However, he soon diverted investors' money to make payments to early investors and himself. So that's what that is. Now, the Federal Reserve, the bite that you just heard, all right, the IRS is an illegal entity, has always been, but the IRS is the poster child for the Federal Reserve. All right. So you guys, you got police departments, you've got the, um, um, I'm talking about your regular city services. You have the, uh, the police department, you have the fire department, mm-hmm. you have streets of sanitation, okay? Um, uh, can y'all think of any other services that you think your taxes pay for? School schools, schools. okay. Libraries, libraries, okay. All right. Now, when you pay, when you get that, uh, you get your paycheck. Uh, Uncle Sam has already snatched his. Yeah. Yeah, and brother, let's see, brother Fiker mm-hmm. gets his. Mm-hmm. Then the uh, then you got state, then you got federal, uh, and I think insurance. I think mm-hmm. it's coming out of y'all checks. Depends on how you Depends on how you set it up. Okay. Well, 100% of individual income tax return uh, goes not to those services. They go to the Federal Reserve Bank. Yeah. To pay interest mm-hmm. only to on the uh, on the federal debt. That's what that is. So yeah. all the so you're saying if you go to a cop and say I pay your your uh, your paycheck, no you don't. Yeah, we do. No. Yeah, we do. No, you don't. Yeah, we do. 
No. It's not because not. of income tax we do, but we no. do it because of the taxes that are charged us on our purchases and our in business All transactions. All right. We're talking about income tax here, brother. We're talking about the IRS. I understand that. But okay. I can tell that cop I still pay his, All right. his salary because I do okay. pay taxes. When, but that's and where soon but see, that's where y'all say that's because they finna make me pay taxes for every drop mile I drive now. <laughs> and you know what? You still don't. No, you don't. You pay taxes. You could you go in there and buy some cookies. Mm-hmm. You pay taxes on those cookies, don't you? Sales tax. Uh huh. But why am I paying the tax when I didn't sell it? Oh, you see what I'm saying? <laughs> so you're not paying it for the cops. No, that's what they label it. Yes, yes. And so the guy, uh, Habib, he has to pay. He uh, pays tax. and I pay. Okay. All right. So what he does is he pays the tax, but he mm-hmm. raises the the price. Yes, he does. More than what the tax is. Uh-huh. And we still buy. That's, Wake up! That's my whole point there. But it's still, I can say mm-hmm. I pay the taxes. Yeah, you can say all you want to. And I am. But if you could, if you track that money, it goes straight to the Federal Reserve. It do not go to those services. Now, you know who owned the Federal Reserve? The Rothschild Bank of London owned it. The Warburg Bank in Hamburg owns it. The Lehman, Lehman Brothers, y'all remember them guys? Yeah, I remember them dude. In New York, they own it. Uh, Lazard Brothers in Paris. Uh, Con Loeb Bank in New York. Israel Moses, you know who they are, right? Uh, and that's, uh, Let my people go. That, that, <laughs> that, that's uh, yeah, this child. That's how folk go ahead. Uh, that they're in Italy. Goldman Sachs. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, they're in New York. Paisano yeah, Rabinowitz. Paisano yeah. Rabinowitz. <laughs> Italian Jew. <laughs> <laughs> and then, of course, Chase Manhattan Bank. Oh, I uh, New York. Okay. They all own. Now, remember when in 2008 when uh, all these things started going crazy and they said that the banks were too big to fail? Okay. Mm-hmm. They had to bail them out. That was a lie, too. They had to do it. That was a lie. Whether it was a lie or not. They had to do it because they would be. They would have been cutting their own the hands that fed them. You know, it's all of this really is scratch my brother's back. That's what it is, and the poor guy like you and me will always suffer because as my family suffered through two thousand eight, two thousand nine, and then what they did was they tried to give you all this uh, what's this thing they call it to stimulate you? A stimulus package. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Yeah. With they, or without batteries. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. These batteries were not included, obviously. Kyle. Okay. Okay. Uh and uh but just isn't fast. battery another a synonym mm-hmm. for beating? Yes it is. Okay. It really is. That's a great comeback, by the way. <laughs> Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, 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 better yeah. return. That's pretty good, right? Oh boy, just go all night with that. It's Friday. It is Friday. Eve Cook is in the room. Woo. How you doing? Cook? I am here. I'm well, Elder. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's good to see you. Thank you. All right. Spring break. You on spring break? Yeah. You just thought you just hanging around. Day. Okay. Well, I'm glad you walked in. Well, uh, unfortunately, you walked in on today. <laughs> <laughs> just ain't one of them theology Thursdays. You know, ain't see? nothing like <laughs> the last day of spring break. <laughs> Wow. It's good that the weather is good, but it's bad that it's the last day. Yes, yes I understand. Yes, it is. And I'm laughing at all y'all because mine was two weeks ago. All right, <laughs> all right. I feel y'all's pain. Yeah, right. You workers, <laughs> you workers of iniquities. Exactly. Uh, Raymond L. Williams uh, Wilson says, "Oh, I got a lot of questions." Oh my Uh-oh. God. Uh-oh. says, "Bron Scott says, no, the Masons are not an evil society. <laughs> who really cares about who shot JFK? I wasn't born back then, anyway." What? That's a brony self, she said. Demetri Brand Triplet, who is our wonderful, gosh, mm-hmm. she knows how to really lay stuff out for us uh, on Facebook. And she keeps the engagement going. I wish I could afford to pay her. So I'm going to give her some respect, pay her respect right now ooh, 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 until ooh, I can ooh. find some money. Uh, she lays it out one by one, the questions that we did ask. Mm-hmm. Um, for instance, the IRS and the Federal Reserve is the biggest Ponzi scheme in America history, and we fail, um, we fall for it every year, hook, line, and sinker. And she said, yes. Did- However, don't pay them, and what happens? Mm-hmm. You that's- pay another way. Yep, you will pay. Mm-hmm. Yep, that's the whole. So you you already at the end of my show. Oh, I'm sorry. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I was going to tell them about the repercussions of uh, not Fallen suit mm-hmm. to this Ponzi scheme, you mm-hmm. will go to jail. You will absolutely. Um, that's that's all a part of the the whole demonic system that we have here. You want to you got you want to do what's right, but yet when you do it, you're going down. I'm going down. I was there. You beat me to it. You beat me to Come it. Come on, man. We are musicians, man. We gotta do. We gotta do. We gotta do. Then also, she says I did Ray kill. Uh, really kill that man. Okay. Uh, and she says uh, Trigger Man. Doubt it. He didn't plan it. She said government hit. 
Albert Carter. Yes, sir. Who killed Martin Luther King? Martin Luther King. <coughs> Who knows? What lurks in the heart of the me? The shadow knows. <laughs> Um, I personally believe that Martin Luther King was not assassinated by one individual. That was a conspiracy of several p- entities involved with that particular event, mm-hmm. working from inside as well. Uh, when you look at the topography of that area, it changed overnight. <laughs> one day you had greenery and shrubbery. Yes. The next day is flat land. Cemented. When do they do that much work that fast in the black community? Never. <laughs> so they changed the surrounding of the Lorraine Hotel. Um, the way he was hit, it would take a skills markman, skilled marksman, military trained, not just someone who oh, could hunting. shoot good and yeah. go hunting. Right. One because the degree or the um, the material used, I should say, the tool used, the gun used, mm-hmm. all those things came into play. Mm-hmm. And even though I just thought it in my head, it came to pass in a trial who's uh, that, that was ran by who Joe Brown. Judge Joe Brown sat sure. on that bench when they proved that Ray did not kill him. Mm-hmm. But they don't know what the soldier, which soldier it was that did sure. the shooting. Yeah. And others were in place in case he missed. <laughs> oh, I believe that. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. He knew he was going down. Yeah. He knew it. Whether I believe he had a knowing or he discerned it. Sure. Number one, the day before this, the great speech. Mm-hmm. Number two, I believe he heard the rumor because when it's something's happening on the inside, you hear about it. You do. You know, we, that's just how we are. We talk too much. Yeah, the government call it uh, a leak in this old building. Yeah. What, what they call <laughs> it when when uh, when ISIS or somebody they'll they'll listen in. They call it sc- scattered. No, oh. uh, tapping the phone. No, no, they call it scattered. There was a, when nine one one hit right before it hit. And every time before something hit, and then something happens, they say, "Chattery." That's it. Oh, the chattery. Chattery. Okay. Absolutely. Um, I mean, the evidence that's revealed doesn't add up to the true evidence that's mm-hmm. present. Mm-hmm. Let's look at OJ. For <laughs> the evidence that was revealed and the evidence that was present, two mm-hmm. different things. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's no way one man could have done such heinous things to two humans, right? Without someone getting a little bit further away sure so there had to be conspiracies and other people involved Mm -hmm. so when you think about uh all that takes place even with mlk Mm -hmm. one shot Mm -hmm. head on this uh uh if it was a hate crime all of them would have got shot (laughs) that's true i mean you think about it if it was a hate crime right all of them would have got shot yeah because they hated him and them Mm mm-hmm so it's like, oh, God, target practice. It would have been like a hunter. When a hunter is shooting, he's not shooting at one duck or one deer. He's trying to get them all as many as he can. Yeah, and some of the most powerful men were there on that balcony with him. Right, that's my point. You could Jesse have totally shut down the system. Yeah, you could have. You could have. Uh, so um, well, my wonder is, why did it take so long? He had he had been on the scene since the 50s, since the boycott in um uh, what was that? What did it take so long to deal with him or to take him why, out? I wonder why it took so long to take him out. Because why that they long? never expected him to ascend <clears throat> to the place he had ascended <clears throat> to. Understand, in 1968, uh, it was he he was no longer just Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King, Freedom Marcher, and Rebel Rouser to these people. That was potentially the next Vice President of the United States. Yeah, yeah. but Because they wiped out... Like I said, if it was just hate crime, they would have mm-hmm. wiped all of them out. Mm-hmm. That's what they did. They mm-hmm. wiped out Bobby, mm-hmm. <laughs> and they wiped out Martin, and a few others. Sure, Martin when, first. When, yeah, yeah. Martin first. Yes. Because Bobby announced it. Right, sure. right. But that was all, had he known. And then sure. they blamed Sirhan, Sirhan, he wasn't even there. Just like when they assassinated Lincoln, mm-hmm. they took Lincoln. They tried to take the vice president sure did. and the secretary of state, Seward. They were yeah. trying to wipe out the, the three the whole, heads yeah. of the United States government. Yeah. All simultaneously. And that new party called the Republican Party at the time. Mm. Yeah, they were brand yes. new. Um, so, because I would have thought that after the speech of 63, that they would have tried to get, just wipe him out. After the, I had No, it was just talk it to him. It took them five years. After because that. they had to be strategically planned. Mm-hmm. They had to also make sure that they had the right people in place to calm it down. Mm-hmm. See, making noise doesn't make doesn't fear them. 
uh, them not catching the bus didn't bother them because they figured sooner or later they would. Mm. But when them not catching the bus for a year continued yep. and it economically hit them, mm-hmm. that's when they right. that's, that's, that's when it. they made a difference. Yeah. So then they had to acquiesce, okay, come to the table, we'll give you a little something. Right. But for him to get into the right house mm-hmm. and to be able to talk to LBJ like that right. mm-hmm. and get that bill signed. And we were so excited about the bill that we didn't realize we was really signing or getting something up, they hid in that bill so many things. They did. It's and like they say, okay, I'm gonna give you this, but I'm taking this. That's right. Because they didn't examine it, and sometimes you know it's give and take. You take what you can. Yeah, kind of like today. That's so true. Every bill that we celebrate over have a lot of little things in it. Mm-hmm. The uh, the Obamacare bill has things in it. Oh my right. god. That's that's not that's not that's not, not, not pretty. No, it's not <laughs> for you. Mm-hmm. Uh, you have to take. Well, what's, you what's just had thing? to bring that up. See, yeah. now my conspiracy mind going crazy yeah. about that. Yeah. yeah, well, let's talk about that in a minute. Okay. The Obamacare thing. It's called the Affordable Care Act. Act. Right. Mm-hmm. But look at, uh, going back to MNK, uh, going back to that bill. I think it was signed in 64, the Civil Rights. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. What, but what it did was, part of it was, uh, it was to help the African-American woman, the single woman, uh, which, it generated welfare, uh-huh. it but generated took, it, took out her caregiver. Took the man out of there. Mm-hmm. All right, and if you watch the show, I watched the movie Claudine. Claudine, yeah, yeah, make uh, love, yeah, happy. yeah. Oh, just a great, great, great movie. I mean, it, the, the the acting is not that great, but the concept <laughs> of uh, <laughs> of the public aid system. That's when I really realized: is it was it that bad? Because my family was on public aid in the er, in the eighties, in the early eighties, maybe late seventies, early eighties. I remember that. My dad was at home, uh, but he had to he had to act like he we was the poorest poorest of the poor. Now my dad, you know, he was a carpenter. He was able to make some money. He owned land, all right, owned property. But uh, my dad, being as prideful as he was, he was like, "I got to get off this because mm-hmm. I'm tired of these people coming up in here. Right. <laughs> I'm tired of having to go through these hoops and this and that." Mm-hmm. Said, no, I'm gonna make my own money. And yeah, we, because it makes you a slave. Yeah, it does. It's, it's, it's sharecropping without crop to share. Sure, sure, yeah. And it was it was worse in the south because them folks just walking. They didn't they have to knock, ring the bell, nothing. They just walked in your house, no problem. You know, and and you and you could be. Mama could have been taking a shower, and man, the Mister could just walk in the house, come in the bathroom if he wanted to. Miss um, Johnson, <laughs> yeah, I smell a man. <laughs> <laughs> well, you in the age? <laughs> okay, Ooh, yeah, I'm gonna leave that one. <laughs> you leave that alone. Okay, Obamacare, man, what's wrong with it? It's not affordable. Okay, so it doesn't live up to his name. Number one, number two, it violated all of the spirit of. Capitalism. Okay, it did. It was supposed to, in the spirit of capitalism, give the consumer another option. Mm -hmm. What it did was it favored the machine because they priced themselves so high. (laughs) Right. As the baseline or the uh, benchmark that the other insurance companies were able to raise their prices or either... Yeah, raise their prices from where they were. They were no longer competing with each other. They were competing with the government. True. <laughs> so it's like, okay, now let's do this. Right. When it should have been lowered. Right. Also, just like welfare, the people who benefit most from it are the people who are more of a burdensome than the people in the middle who are working to push and drive this entire machine, the middle class. Alan Chicago, are more black people on welfare than whites? No, ain't enough black people to be on welfare than whites. <laughs> Yeah, because there's more whites in America. There's more whites, and and most of us work. Mm -hmm. Yes. Why do we think that? There's always us. Because we believe what we see more than what we read. I see. You think this is an institutional profile of what we see on news and in media? I know it is. Sure. They're going to they're going to a poor woman's house, and they'll say, "Look how horrible this house is." Mm -hmm. They 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 use these same words. I forget what yes, they use. Horrible, yeah. horrific, terrible, uh, yeah. un- unsafe conditions, sure. mm-hmm. vile, um, mm-hmm. all these yeah. negative adjectives. Sure. sure. And then the world, the, the the country looks at that, and that's the picture of a single. Uh, and that may be one mother. house, but yeah. that's not all houses. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And they think that is how we, we all live. live. Exactly. But mm-hmm. you, but there's more whites on this system, mm-hmm. and they don't go in those homes. And more whites, there's more white on white crime. Sure. More violence in that mm-hmm. community, mm-hmm. especially in, in the Appalachian area right? and in the South. Sure. 
It's more uh, um, sexual offense. There's more domestic violence. I know. There's more um, <laughs> mother and daughter fighting over the same guy. All that kind of foolishness is happening. And, and suicide. <clears throat> oh, yeah. They will kill themselves in yep. a heartbeat. Yeah. Trust me. I, I lived among them in South Dakota, and every time I turn around, once every couple months, some white student killed himself. Wow. And my, 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 my son had to come home. Dad, another one took his life. <clears throat> wow. I'm like, my, my, I said, my, I hate that you have to see this. He says, I never saw this in Chicago. We don't kill ourselves, Dad. No. We don't kill ourselves. These people down here just killing themselves. He, and they were affluent. They were, their parents were uh, upper, upper middle class to millionaires there. But the money meant nothing. They, they, were they had no struggle. Yeah, man. So they struggled with nothing to struggle with Ooh. other than their own thought process. Yeah, just just amazing. Okay. I used to I remember asking my mom when she told me the condition she was raised in. She was born in nineteen thirty two, right at the cusp of the depression. Mm-hmm. And she told me how they had to survive and what they lived off her of and how many people were in these little shotgun shacks, you know, that you had to be careful where you walked on the floor because it was holes in the floor covered by rugs and stuff right. like that. Mm-hmm. And I said, it's a wonder y'all wasn't depressed. She said, depressed? Nobody had time to be depressed. We were trying to survive. Right, right. right. You know, survival shuts off your depression gene. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it does. Because you didn't have no time to think. Mm-hmm. You had no so time true. to reflect, she said. You had you had to always be thinking. Mm-hmm. Depression requires reflection. Right. That's true. That's what she said. No, that's good. Dep- depression requires reflection. That's really good. Um Hey, but then you look, think that meant nothing then. But yeah, nothing. but now it means a lot. Mm-hmm. I remember. I mean, when I'm looking at the news, these news reels from 1929. The depression lies from tw- the, the stock market. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, went down, and these white folk were jumping out yes. of the windows. Mm-hmm. They think because they were afraid of being poor. Exactly. Of not having. Mm-hmm. That's hating yeah. something so much that I refuse yeah. to become it. I'd rather die I'd than rather become die. it. Ain't that something? I was talking to a high school class a few years back when I was uh, doing t- tutoring at Olive Harvey, and they were talking about the racial lines within cities yeah. and, the, and the different neighborhoods and how they change. Mm-hmm. And it was a white teacher conducting the class, and I was just sitting there as a guest. And as he began describing how he notices a change, because he was taking the red line from 95th up to Wrigleyville, how there was a change. And he starts saying once he passes 47th, 43rd Street stop, well, no, 47th Street stop, that's when he begins to see the change. I said, what you see is not a race change. The change of color is green. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I wow. said, because it's black people in those areas you described. It's black yeah. people, but they are, they blend in better because of the green that's in their sure. melanin wow. <laughs> or their wallet. And he said, you're right. I never thought about it that way. Mm-mm-mm. Going to this quick break here. Going to play a file called U.S. Income Tax is Illegal, y'all. The IRS is illegal. I'll keep bringing that home. Because today's tax day. Why not celebrate the illegalness <laughs> of it all? And play a commercial maybe too, and uh, come back with the great Alvin Carter and Marilyn Keita. Oh, you gave a wrong name. Yeah, well. That's a conspiracy. That is a conspiracy. <laughs> That's a conspiracy. <laughs> that is me, isn't it? Well, I usually say her name at 5 o'clock, so I just let that slip. No, but nobody knew there was yeah. two people. They didn't know it. No, yeah. my secret is out. Your secret is out. Yep, yep, yep. But I know the other names. But you, yeah. <laughs> They're all the German show. <laughs> Did you miss part of today's show? Well, just head to Spreaker.com. That is Spreaker, S-P-R-E-A-K-E-R.com. And type in the Sir Walter Jones Show to get today's episode and past ones. So do it now. Robbing the public of what little wealth they had left. And at the end of 1933, the gold standard was abolished. If you look at a dollar bill from before 1933, it says it is redeemable in gold. If you look at a dollar bill today, it says it is legal tender, which means it is backed by absolutely nothing. It is worthless paper. The only thing that gives our money value is how much of it is in circulation. Therefore, the power to regulate the money supply is also the power to regulate its value, which is also the power to bring entire economies and societies to its knees. It's important to clearly understand the Federal Reserve is a private corporation It is about as federal as Federal Express. It makes its own policies and is under virtually no regulation by the U.S. government. It is a private bank that loans all the currency at interest to the government, completely consistent with the fraudulent central banking model that the country sought to escape from when it declared independence in the American Revolutionary War. 
Now, going back to 1913, the Federal Reserve Act was not the only unconstitutional bill pushed through Congress. They also pushed the federal income tax. It's worthwhile to point out that the American public's ignorance towards the federal income tax is a testament to how dumbed down and oblivious the American population really is. First of all, the federal income tax is completely unconstitutional, as it is a direct, unapportioned tax. All direct taxes have to be apportioned to be legal based on the Constitution. Secondly, the required number of states in order to ratify the amendment to allow the income tax was never met, and this has even been cited in modern court cases. Third, at the present day, roughly 25% of the average worker's income is taken via this tax. And guess where that money goes? It goes to pay the interest on the currency being produced by the fraudulent Federal Reserve Bank, a system that does not have to exist at all. The money you make working almost three months out of the year goes almost literally into the pockets of the international bankers who own the private Federal Reserve Bank. And fourth, even with the fraudulent government claim as to the legality of the income tax, there is literally no statute, no law in existence that requires you to pay this tax, period. I really expected that, of course, there's a law that you can point to in the law book, the code, that requires you to file a tax return. Of course there is. I was at that point where I couldn't find the statute that clearly made a person liable. Uh, at least not me and uh, most people I know and I had no no choice in my mind except to to resign based on the research that I did throughout the year 2000 and that I'm still doing I have not found that law I've asked uh, Congress we've asked a lot of people in the IRS the IRS commissioners helpers they can't answer because if they answer the American people are gonna know that this whole thing is a fraud I haven't uh, filed an income, federal income tax return since I left. I have not filed a tax return since 1999. The income tax is nothing less than the enslavement of the entire country. Now, the control of the economy and the perpetual robbery of wealth is only one side of the Rubik's Cube the bankers hold in their hands. The next tool for profit and control is war. Yeah, the next thing he said was war. What war. is it good for? Al Capone. <laughs> Al Capone would come yeah. back from the grave. Because yes, you know that's how they arrested him. That's how they got him. Tax evasion. Tax evasion. Yes. And, and had his lawyers realized it. Yeah. Ain't that Because had his lawyers been able to defend that then. Yeah. It is, and, and, and it was new then. <laughs> right. It was brand new almost. So they didn't know the law. They, they, they didn't know the law. Absolutely. Uh, and uh, uh, so those of you listening to me And you going down at the IRS uh, Ella Jones says don't pay my taxes The devil is lie Don't you be spreading my <laughs> They're going to they start looking in my books <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I do know that Some people who have never paid mm -hmm. And don't start They never bother Yeah no they don't No uh, And the IRS right now is um, They don't have uh they're going through a lot of changes right now. They don't have the manpower now to be going after the little guy anymore. So now they use their resources on a guy who they can make a. Well, why did they audit me five years ago? Yeah, well, and then um, why they keep you must have they keep something. taking my return? You, you, did, you did a red. There was a red flag there somewhere. There was no red minute. Yeah. I mean, no, never mind. <laughs> yeah, no. They usually go after the person who they know that they can really make a and make a. a or what you call it when you're trying to use somebody as an example? A payday, a big example out of it. <clears throat> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's why you see these these stars. But I tell you, I had favor. Turns yeah. out the auditor and I, I heard son and I worked at the same school. Yeah. They were about to get me. I'm sure. <sighs> Bad. <laughs> I'm sure. I understand that. I can't I believe that. Yeah, yeah. You, you stop leaving traces. That was no trace. That was the problem. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> they told me to, and I had an, a legalized tax preparer do my taxes. Really? Mm hmm. Wasn't no QuickBooks. <laughs> Wasn't Pookie? No. <coughs> and them? No. no. A retired IRS worker. <laughs> <laughs> really? My, my, my. All right. Let's see, because uh, Art just wrote a book on this. Oh, Lord. Let's continue with what Demetrius put in here. She said, well, Who really shot JFK? She says, uh, The Klan. They were not happy with him and his family working to get MLK out of jail in Birmingham, is what mm -hmm. she's saying. You agree with that? Mm, it's hard to say everybody wanted them boys out. 
Yeah. But I personally think he was killed by his own. What do you mean his own? His dad was a mobster. Mm-hmm. And his dad um, was making promises that wasn't coming through be true because once his sons got into power, they started thinking for themselves. Mm-hmm. And they started realizing some of the things they were doing that they were taught by their father and they trusted him. Once they grew up and got into the real world, it's like, whoa, that's not it. That's not right. That's not it. You know? So, um, cause they almost took him out here in Chicago. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, um, John JFK during the, the, the convention. Sure. Um, but they held it off. They blocked it. So I don't know if the mob did it. KKK could have, but that's not their style. You know, they like to have attention when they do it. Um, <coughs> I, it but I think also that was a military government thing. Sure. Because he was hit three times from three different locations. Mm-hmm. And the the trajectory is not KKK style. No. Mm-mm. No. No, that was... Okay, this guy's got too much power. Let's take him out. Sure. Because he's not playing by our rules. Yeah. He's actually following the law and using the power he has. Uh, and the the irony of him being convinced to do everything out of protocol that that particular day. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Why was he in a convertible? Unheard of. Right. Why did they change the route all of a sudden? Unheard of. Mm-hmm. All these different things. And even the the collateral damage of the governor being shot mm-hmm. because the bullet went through him, mm-hmm. through the seat, mm-hmm. and into the governor. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And Which one had, man was out there with a the camera. <laughs> right. A uh, 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 pr- uh, pruder, I think that's his the name. Bruder. Was it the bruder or something like yeah. that? Yeah. Yeah. So there, there's a, uh, and he wasn't the only one with a camera. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's right. what we wanted. Yeah, yeah, man, please. Sure. President coming down. Come right. on. Absolutely. Man. You keep a camera. Tell me. Sure. Man, please. Anyway. Yeah, a lot of conspiracy going on there. Yes. Uh, Michael the Max. The world may never know. Michael oh, Max. Inside job. Inside. I believe Easily. that. Totally sure. inside. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and inside, not so much from Farrakhan. Elijah Muhammad. And Farrakhan may have known about it, mm-hmm. um, Louis X at the time. Mm-hmm. But it's bigger than Louis X. Yeah. Um, this was bigger than uh, even what Elijah may have wanted. Mm-hmm. He silenced him. He did. Um, long before he died. Even when he had this epiphany against the race thing, he still hadn't changed his political views about I- inequality. But they they got him because he said, if he rises up, he will do more damage than MLK can. Mm-hmm. Because whereas MLK had popularity, X had power. Mm-hmm. You were there. He had power. Um, in New York, when he shut it down, <laughs> like let him out this jail, like, and them brothers lined up, yeah. and then when they talk, they saw how he yeah. just used sign language and they moved. Mm-hmm. They, they 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 like uh uh-uh. uh no, that's the one we yeah. can't because that's more power see, than one man. they will riot and tell mm-hmm. their stuff. Sure. These dudes will riot and come to our neighborhood. Yep. <laughs> right, exactly. And this and this was before uh, the black. Uh, Panther Party, right? You know? So they took X out first <clears throat> mm-hmm. before they took MLK out because sure. if they had a did it the other way around, it would have been a whole lot different. Yeah, I agree with that. So they said they, it was a chess game. It I'm going to sacrifice this part. Sure, <laughs> I'm going to lose this man for. I'm going to get this man out the way, mm-hmm. yeah. especially after they met and they started finding out. You know these things now. The world may never know, but. They also were strategic enough to make it look like their own did it mm-hmm. versus whites because had it been a white shooter, mm-hmm. it would have been the same effect. Sure. Because those brothers would have said, uh-uh, we defending our own. Because mm-hmm. <laughs> when those guys took their hand out their pocket and shot them, they beat those killers so sure. bad. I mean, immediately in the temple, they sure. beat those dudes. Absolutely. Yeah. And to this day now, you cannot enter a mosque mm-hmm. without being searched. Yeah. And that's funny because we complain about going to other places getting searched, mm-hmm. but you better not make a complaint. In fact, wherever a prominent speaker comes, the FOI is there, and they're not letting anybody in until they mm-hmm. inspect and search mm-hmm. them. Because mm-hmm. yeah. they don't trust nobody. Get your hand out of my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's so true. And that was the dumbest line. Why would you yeah, say it was, that? It was, but it was, it was a message being sent sure. because get your hand out of my pocket was basically saying, you are hurting the upper houses. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 
is the significance of Eugene Carter hurting Blake because mm-hmm. if he, people had bought into what Eugene Carter was saying, mm-hmm. he'd have been having his hands in his pocket. True. <laughs> well, actually, Blake put his that's hands a, in Eugene Carter's pocket. That's, yeah, that's a good point there. Because so that's what, what was happening. What about Gandhi? Do you believe that was a conspiracy as well? <clears throat> he was going to die anyway if he hadn't hurt him knee. <laughs> he was struggling with I'm sorry. He was struggling with halitosis. <laughs> <laughs> that's so true <laughs> yeah M90. that I don't know you well know, I mean who, who assassinated him or did he just die of starvation I always no. thought it was someone within yeah. the group itself someone within it's mm-hmm. like yeah that's why Mount Luther King's story right too, so sure mm-hmm. yeah yeah. That, mm-hmm. yeah that's why their stories are so alike MLK right. and, and Gandhi exactly uh, I remember there's always a Judas Sure, there's there is. Judas. There's always a Judas. So in the JFK situation, that's a Judas situation. Uh, in uh, Abraham Lincoln, that's a Judas situation, believe it or not. Um, poor but, Mud. Yeah, poor, poor Mud. Dr. Poor Dr. Mud. Not Roger Mud, but... Uh, <laughs> Dr. Mud. <laughs> yeah, Dr. Mud. They destroyed his uh, whole credibility yeah, they did. and the family's they name. Did. So they did. said, your name is Mud. Mud. That euphemism that came because name. that man was doing nothing but following his yeah. Hippocratic oath yes, of he helping did. John Wilkes Booth who was yeah. in, when he got to his house. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not knowing the... How would he know then? There was no technology putting no. out that, you, oh, this is the guy that killed the president. Sure. There was nothing that was, you know. Right, right. Uh, did Hitler commit suicide? When someone commits suicide, you usually find the body or a letter uh-huh. and both. Sure. They found him. Yeah. <laughs> they found him. The dude changed his hairstyle, shaved that mustache, and was drawn in paint for somebody. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. He had enough money. Yeah. Now the thing is, where's Ava Braun? Yeah. Now you find Ava, you find mm-hmm. Hitler. Sure, that's so true. They were inseparable. Right. Mm-hmm. Two, he was two, putting two, it on him, and he she, wasn't letting her go. No, no. That's one woman. Again, I don't care who you are. I don't care how much of a dictator you are. There's always that one woman that mm-hmm. could, that could, because Sam, Samson had his. Oh yeah. You know, and he knew what she was trying to do. To yeah. Him. Oh yeah. Yeah. He he went to haircuts on us. <laughs> she she got a bar, her barber's license. He finally told her the style of giving. Yeah. Yeah, she she gave I mean, him he time. toyed with her as mm-hmm. she was trying to. And he toyed with her. He did. I guess that last time she must have toyed with him yeah. to a point that he just yeah. She said, she <sighs> said the Philistines are upon you. Get up. He says I'm gonna do what I always do. Mm-hmm. I'm on. I'm on. I'm overtake him like I always do. And he reached up and uh, <laughs> Dude, you can't he, fight with he, no he hell. limp. <laughs> <laughs> poor boy was limp. She <laughs> made. They made you. They, <laughs> I don't care what nobody said. I believe when she told him that, when he told her that, they didn't just cut the. They didn't split his hands. <laughs> they didn't trim his hands. They did, They turned him into Yule Brenner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, tell us, Savalas, what you gonna do? Tell us, Savalas. <laughs> tell us, Savalas. <laughs> they cut all his hair off. Oh my goodness. Big Luke is on Facebook. Uh, he's answering Demetra because uh, uh, while continuing with her, she mentions uh, was President Obama chosen to be president, and her answer was yes, just like Trump was chosen as a pawn to help see, get Hillary. In. That, uh, Hillary, she's called. Her. Dude, yeah, which part, mm. Obama or, or Obama Trump? Obama is okay. a Manchurian candidate. Manchurian candidate. That's a good way of putting it. Yeah, I'm sorry. That's good. He's me. Well, oh, well. <laughs> I saw the movie. I did too. <laughs> and the movie basically, in short, Cliff Notes version, the Manchurian company selected the next person who would sure. run the become the president and set policy so that it would benefit them. Right. So they always had a plan of who was going to be what. Mm-hmm. And they did whatever they had to do, take out who they needed to take out and whatever means necessary, to, <laughs> whether it was getting somebody out of office or getting somebody out of life to make sure that, that candidate made it in. That's right. Absolutely, and it's not as hard as you think, believe it or not. Because look, look at look at Donald Trump. Right? Who would have ever thought? Who would have ever thought? This shows you how easy it is when people come together. Exactly. You know now. Or they present the package the right way at the right time to the right demographic. Yes, and this person had to be part of um, a particular party who stand by each other no matter how bigoted a person is, mm-hmm. because he's in a. Look at the the agreement that these guys made. All right. They signed the agreement to, to, that says whoever the the guy we select, I'm going to support him to the very end. What they're really, what they're saying in essence is no matter how xenophobic, how big he is, 
I'm going to support him because I'm supporting not him per se. The party. I'm the supporting party. the party. Mm -hmm. That is a, that is really not just them. That's us as well. Mm -hmm. a, that, we, we proved that. We have proved that. Because if if he had a guy on his platform and say, well, the first thing I'm going to do um, mm -hmm. is um, I'm not going to um, uh, uh, legalize gay marriages. That's the first thing on my agenda. Um, sure. Then I. We, man, we won't go do that, man. Right. Come on, we need some jobs. Okay, right. then I'm going to give you jobs. Right. And now we say he's, the unemployment rate has mm -hmm. went gone down, mm -hmm. but they're technically underemployment mm -hmm. versus right. employment. Mm -hmm. That's so true. Unemployment. You know? And there are those who are not even showing up on the radar because they stopped looking. Yeah. Right. Sure. Yeah, because that's the only way you can gauge it. How many people go to unemployment office? Right. Because if I don't know you work at, not mm -hmm. working, mm -hmm. I don't know if you are or aren't. I can't add you. Uh, Big Luke uh, says a lot of people uh, at work and ain't working anyway. That's so true. Yeah, I'm doing that right now. This is fun to me. Um, <clears throat> he says agreed. IRS and uh, F and the FRB. Okay, maybe Federal that's Reserve a typo. Mm -hmm. Okay, no, FRB, it's, Federal okay, Reserve that's Bank. what he's calling it. Yes. All right, that's good. Ferb. It's a scam. He says Ray did not kill him. Okay, because uh, he was the worst uh, shooter in the military at the time. The killer was Jesse Jackson. He's saying, "Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> no, says, Jesse, uh, that, that wasn't Jesse. That wasn't Jesse." And no. I saw the video he's talking about. Okay. He says, "I have video evidence to support it." Well, and, if, and I know who was speaking in that video. I wanted to shoot him. Who was talking? Mm -hmm. So I would have been uh, a conspiracy. Now I think it was some other people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, Dick Gregory brings that out. Yeah, he does. But that's a different piece. Of uh, he also says JFK was shot at close range by John Connolly. Hence, what really, man? By John Connolly, <laughs> hence the you know who John Connolly was, you know that was right. That's the that was the the the, the mayor, the governor. Uh, he says hence the solution to the mis mysterious How you shoot somebody in yourself? Bullet. So he did like this. Yeah, he was he right shot through a shot. Right, right, right. But they looked at the bullet tra uh, trajectory. He worse than you. Trajectory <laughs> wrong. Video evidence supports this. JFK was hit four times anyway. Bush and company didn't like what he was planning to do. Bush. Man, he, he went all the way First through. of all, you got to do your history, man. Mm -hmm. Bush, well, I ain't going to talk about Prescott Bush. Sure. No. Who who might have been the first cousin of Hitler because they, yeah. they was Nazis. But but Daddy Bush was a Democrat first. Sure. Yeah, he was. It well, wasn't until he lost <laughs> he lost the primary and then uh, Reagan said, hey, I like you. Why don't you come over and be my running mate? Yeah, because Reagan was Democrat. Uh, Big Luke says the nine one one. See there, the difference between Democrat and Republican is about what five ten, ten bucks. Yep, ten bucks today. Same bird, for, right yeah, wing left. Adjust for inflation. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, Nan Buck says hi. I need to know if uh, I buy more magazines, will I win Publishers Clearinghouse? And does spaghetti really grow on trees? <laughs> well, <laughs> since McMahon is dead now, yes, <laughs> he right. ain't knocking at your door. <laughs> Come on down. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. Angela Garrett, Angela Garrett's popcorn, says this. Uh, many people ask this question. She going to give me for that, by the way. God help me. Buy your heads, everybody. Buy your heads. Well, I don't go to Garrett's no more. Okay. All right. Uh, is the <laughs> Illuminati a real society, and do they control the commerce? Okay. Somebody's going to answer that, and uh, trust me. It ain't going to be me. Yeah, it ain't going to be me either. <laughs> Anyone else have trouble with the link? Okay, that's, I'm sorry. I'm, yeah, that's a trouble thing. Was it? Uh, that's not a question. That's a technical thing. Oh. Uh, la la -di. Okay, Amado Koha. I was waiting for him. Oh wow! Uh, and, I ain't uh, seen him in a minute. Well, he here. <laughs> this must be one of his topics. He said, I, "I instantly roll my eyes whenever I hear anyone begin a conversation on Illuminati, uh, the super secret organization that everybody knows about. There is no uh, uh, what do you say, a cabal to ancient intrigue." Oh, Lord. Are the ones who think they... <laughs> great word, by the way, which I knew how to pronounce it. The ones who think they're behind the curtain uh, aren't because no family or party or organization can possibly hope to hold an, enough sway over world governments to make a dent. Sure, if the Trilateral Commission... And, He's a member of the group. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's one, ain't he? <laughs> He's one of them. He should, should have tried out a commission in the bullet. There's Burks. no mafia. <laughs> right. There's no mafia. What mafia? What mafia? Hey, hey. Come over here. Uh, and they just happen to quail their insatiable desire uh, for uh, jingoism and wow. uh, yeah, hegemony. Long. Whoa. He's using mm -hmm. these big words, man. Hegemony. Wow. God, I need, jingoism. I need my encyclopedia for to read this, man. Uh huh. The, the paradox <laughs> in this idea. 
you, <laughs> yeah, you, I need my thesaurus. <laughs> uh, you really need to study world history and stop getting your information from YouTube videos with too loud music in the background. <laughs> right to me. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> That's so true right there, man. It'd be loud. Yeah. Uh, they maybe just maybe uh, they can cut off a large enough slicer for themselves to make sure that they are, their families are infl- infl- inflation proof. Mm-hmm. But the simple fact is that they are far too many uh, variegated political structures, uh, currencies, and cultures to make a grand plan. He's a member. Yeah, he's a member. He's he's defended it too vehemently to say what's impossible when it is very possible. Sure. It is very possible. It really is. That's how our nation got formed. Mm -hmm. Um, I want to Matter of fact, let's go there. Since we're talking about secret societies, why don't we go there? I gotta go. Yep, yeah, because I'm, I'm getting ready to tap on. <laughs> I know. I'm getting ready to tap on. I was told I gotta go. <laughs> we ain't no secret, though. So. No, they go. Y'all ain't no secret. Ain't no secret who he is. Uh, the first one is Skull and Bones. Okay, our members of Skull and Bones are George Bush. Is in there? There, mm-hmm. 1947. Okay, the, the order Skull and Bones. Uh, uh, their Yale University Society was originally known as the Brotherhood of Death. Why would I want to be a part of a group of that name? Uh, yeah. Um, La La Di, it is one of the oldest student secret societies in the United States. Okay. And let's go to number two, Freemasons. Uh, Freemasons annual meeting. Okay. This is a beat. This is a uh, meet, uh, picture. Mm-hmm. The Grand the Masonic. Put them number two over Skull and Bones. Mm-hmm. I don't when know you if this have is to a... be that one to be a Skull. Oh. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't think they put it in an order of, you know, of assembly, maybe. popularity, or popularity or influence. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sure. Why well, uh, they put that picture on the internet? See there, see mm-hmm. there. See there. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh-huh. yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. The grand, the grand Masonic lodge was created in 1717 when four small groups of lodges joined together. Membership levels were initially first and second degree, but in 1750s this was expanded to create the third degree, which caused it. I thought it was, I was black belt when I went to hear that. I'm like, okay. yeah, yeah, which caused a split in the group. When a person reaches the third degree, they are called master mason. Is that right? That's right. Okay, so masons conduct. How you know? <laughs> her father, I know. I'm messing with her. Yeah, she, she, she's. <laughs> I'm talking to Mason family no. here As in the master, room. Yes. I will be that title in Jan- in November. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. All right, Taskmaster. Okay. Taskmaster? No, no past. past. Oh, I was going to say, I'm Taskmaster too. <laughs> <laughs> Masons conduct uh, their regular meetings in a ritualistic, I'm sorry, ritualized style. This includes many references to archae- uh, architectural symbols, mm-hmm. such as the compass and square. They refer to God as the great architect of the universe. Now, that's what I do like about that, though. I watched the History Channel. Mm-hmm. Don't mean it is always correct, but when I saw the history of the Masons, right. then I I got it. Mm-hmm. I understood the symbols, why they used the symbols, mm-hmm. and then the, the whole uh, thing with building and architect, and of course the Washington D.C. and mm-hmm. all this stuff. Mm-hmm. Then I really got it. I think a lot of us uh, look at the secretness and, we, and the, the the touch of what we think is evil because Cause they nosy and they don't know when no, they say if you straight yes. gonna tell me it must be something wrong. It must right. be something wrong. But right. I don't tell you my social security number. Sure. So mm-hmm. is that wrong? Right. No. See. Right. Exactly. Yeah. I don't tell you my shoe size. And it's not just with Masonic with the Masons. I think it's with a lot of the uh, Christians. We are really guilty of this. Oh yeah. Because we don't know the Bible yet. We rep- we try to represent it the best way we can. Uh, through through our life out there in the world, but we but we're challenged by those who know it better than us. Mm-hmm. All right, the atheists, and, and they know and at it. They know at it pretty much because mm, they don't know it because they don't no, know him. No, no, they only they only read it from a scientific scientific proof. Um, right. um, Prowess, okay, yes. okay, mm-hmm. but they the the spirituality of it they they have no clue of that. That's why it's a mystery to them, right? You know, to to the point where it's it's stupid to them. To some, to, mm-hmm. to, to many of the atheists, it's stupid. But then they sound stupid to us. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. The other one is called the Rosicrucians. Oh, the Rosicrucians. Yeah, yeah, the Rosicrucians. No, yeah. no, no, that's no. different. The Rosicrucian order is generally believed to have been the idea of a group of German Protestants in the 1600s mm. when a series of three documents were published. Uh, and then they, they, I learned about them mm-hmm. in. Uh, uh, Christ- history of Christianity. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, because they pulled out. Um, in fact, they accused Martin Luther of being one, mm-hmm. 
And Martin Luther actually had to go under a pseudonym because they were trying to kill him wow. after his 99 thesis. So that's oh, sure, wow. sure, sure. with that. Wow. Okay, and number four is the Ordo Templus Orientis. You can imagine what the, the temple number. of the Oriental Temple of Order. Yeah, yeah. The uh, Order of the Temples of the East. Okay, um, <laughs> OTO. Same thing, mm-hmm. different name. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, and then number five is uh, Hermetic Order of the Golden Dawn. Oh boy, that sounds mysterious. And then number six is the Knights Templar. We know them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm a Knights Templar. Yep, yep, yep. The United, the United Religious, Military, and Masonic Orders of the Temple and of Saint John of Jerusalem, Palestine, Rhodes, and Malta. That's their full name. Wow, ain't that something? Yeah. It, in modern uh, offshoot. To remember too. They're the offshoot of Masonry mm-hmm. and does not have a direct tie to their origin of Knights Templar. Templar, sorry. I'm thinking about the uh, Three Musketeers. Yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. Number seven is Illuminati. All right, mm-hmm. uh, the pyramid and the Illuminati symbol, mm-hmm. a movement of uh, free thinkers that were the most radical offshoot of the Enlightenment, whose followers were given the name Ill- Illuminati, but who call themselves perfectibilists, uh, who was founded in 1776, May 1st. From okay. France. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then, of course, the Bilderberg Group. Uh, the group is a slightly different from the others in that it does not have an official membership. It is the name given uh, to a group of highly influential people who meet uh, ever, ever, <laughs> every year in secrecy. And usually with strong military and government. Now, these people are very powerful, by the way. Yep. And they are the ones you worry about. Yeah, those are the ones that you, y'all, y'all see, y'all. Uh, this Illuminati keep popping up a lot, a lot, a lot. But see, it's, it's a really it's a, it's a, it's all it's a shell game. It's a what's it what's it called? It's sleight of hands. Yes. Yeah. You because remember illusion. That's what it is. You remember look the, over the, here uh, while I'm doing this. That's it. Uh, remember when Y two K? Yes. Was the biggest thing mm-hmm. that uh, people were y'all were y'all pastors were having people come to your church <laughs> yes. and giving these seminars wait, and telling wait, y'all wait. to buy up everything and mm-hmm. put it in. Your, people, mm-hmm. go, yeah, uh-huh. buying building yeah. bunkers, mm-hmm. yeah, uh-huh. storage rooms, storage room, yeah, mm-hmm. man, all that bed. money. They said that don't fly, right? Uh, in 1999, people who watched night December services waiting on the lights to, wait wait to go out. <laughs> 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 and I was in the air on oh, on, on uh, Y2K. I said, Folks oh, this got this. all this food. The mm-hmm. next day, don't know what to do with yeah, it. Was, and some people still got it. <laughs> all them dry goods. <laughs> because here's the thing. When the whole nation is fearful of one thing that they think is going to happen, it never does. Yeah. It, it just never and does. And that was my yeah, theory. I'm like, you think this itself. is going to yes. actually happen? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it never does. Mm-hmm. Yeah, please. Yeah. Was, yeah. We live without lights. Then, then I, <laughs> my mother said, poor folk been without lights before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Right. So it always, that's why Jesus says, I'm coming like a thief in the night. Mm-hmm. Yep. You don't even know in, I'm there until I'm gone. twinkling of an eye. So he says, I'm not going to be warning all of y'all. Right. Okay, I'm coming tomorrow morning. Cause see, then, then boom. So the y- Y two K is really was like this. Like it, everybody's preparing, but boom. Can you well, imagine the line? Parano- uh, mm. Paranoia. Yeah. Paranoia. Paranoia. Which is a part of conspiracy. It sure itself. is a part of conspiracy. It sure is. Absolutely. Number nine is the prior the the, prior, the priory of Scion. I did. I have heard of them. In 19- no, I haven't heard of them. Yes, they're big as well. Da Vinci Code. That's mm-hmm. Dan Brown's book and all oh, that. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah big stuff. Uh, and uh, that's it, that's it for that. Mm. They didn't have the Odd Fellows in there. No. Well, this is just the top. Uh, well, I'm sorry. Number ten is Opus Day. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, but no, that's they just give us the top ten. I'm sure there's more, much more. And they didn't have the Shriners in there. They probably the top eleven. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to spend your record. No, I'm just saying. But Shriners aren't really secretive. Yeah. Well, top ten. Yeah, they're the most helpful to children. <clears throat> it's five o'clock in the PM. Is it in Chicago Lane area? Wow. Time flies when you're talking about. Conspiracy. <laughs> hey, uh, we usually do the news at five, and uh, since the news maker is here, I'm gonna let her read the news. That's Why wonderful. not? You know, she's you know she reads better than me anyway. Uh, hey, everybody reads better than me anyway. <laughs> hey, uh, we're gonna do that and come back with some more of this uh, crazy stuff called conspiracy. Have a I have a file. Yeah, print the file first, and then news, and then we'll be back with the Alvin Carter and all of his craziness stuff he'd be making up. Okay. So I'll jump show. <laughs> What's going on? What's going on? Oh, 
no. Did you miss part of today's show? Well, just head to Spreaker.com. That is Spreaker, S-P-R-E-A-K-E-R.com. And type in the Sir Walter Jones Show to get today's episode and past ones. So do it now. The idea that the CIA ran secret mind control experiments was treated as an insane conspiracy theory of paranoiacs. Up until 1995, that year, President Clinton issued a formal apology on behalf of the U.S. government, revealing that the speculations weren't just morbid fantasies of unstable individuals. In fact, the experiments even had an official name. Name, Project MK Ultra. In reality, the CIA was experimenting on U.S. citizens from 1950 until 1973, using drugs, electronics, hypnosis, verbal and sexual abuse, as well as torture, to conduct behavioral experiments on unlucky subjects. Over a hundred projects of this kind were run in over 80 different institutions, including prisons, hospitals, pharmaceutical companies, and even universities. CIA Director Richard Helms destroyed most of the documents, which left a lot of what was actually happening a mystery. However, a lot of the information about this horrific project was brought to the surface with the Freedom of Information Act in 1977. The fact that no one has yet been punished for the committed crimes shows just how entangled the power play connected to this conspiracy actually is. There were many actual and many rumored attempts of assassinating Hitler during World War II, but a particular one made July 20th, 1944, a historical date. The conspiracy is remembered in history as Operation Valkyrie. The goal of the operation was to kill Hitler and his two right-hand men, Gorig and Himmler. The plot was to use the continuity of government proceedings during an assassination on Hitler's life to take over full control of the government in Germany and subsequently blame the coup on the Nazi SS. Plans were set into motion with the recruitment of Colonel Klaus von Stauffenberg, who successfully infiltrated the highest ranks, getting promoted to attending military strategy meetings with Hitler himself. Stauffenberg carried a briefcase bomb with him and considered taking the chance several times, but backed out each time because not all of his targets were present. On July 20th, he finally took his chance and exploded the bomb inside Hitler's conference room using a remote detonator. Unfortunately, Hitler survived with only minor injuries. As a result, Daufenberg and many of his fellow conspirators were executed. It's no secret that politics are a dirty game, but elaborate conspiracies, when they are true, are usually very well hidden. It's a rare occasion that a government plot is revealed to the public. One such conspiracy existed in the 60s, and its goal was to provoke a war with Cuba. America's top military leaders joined forces in coming up with a plan which would support a war against Cuba, but involve fake acts of terrorism on U.S. soil, which would take a devastating number of innocent lives. There are existing and available Available documents which show that chiefs of staff of the U.S. military had an elaborate plan of shooting civilians in the streets of Washington, D.C. and Miami, to name a few places. Bombings would be initiated and innocent people would be framed and found guilty of these acts of terrorism. An elaborate plan was created on how to stage a devastating incident in which it would seem as if a Cuban aircraft shot down a plane full of college students. Fidel Castro and Cuban refugees would be implicated and and thus a war would be justified. Luckily, President Kennedy rejected these plans. Unfortunately, sometimes it happens that conspiracy theories about medication spreading disease aren't just plots of Hollywood movies or TV shows. A turn of events revealed a horrid truth in the United States. Close to 100 million Americans fell victim to vaccines containing cancer-causing viruses. Information about polio vaccines tainted with the simian virus 40 was available on the CDC website for a short period of time before it was suddenly removed. The simian virus 40 is a virus found in some species of monkey. It's a polyoma virus, which can be found in humans as well, where it is considered a potential cause of tumors, although it remains a latent infection in most cases. The discovery of this virus led to a big reveal. It turned out that around 90% of children and 60% of adults in the USA were treated with SV40 contaminated polio vaccines and thus put at risk of developing tumors. 
The 1919 World Series are known in history as the scene of the Black Sox scandal. The Chicago White Sox created the biggest scandal in baseball history when they intentionally lost against the Cincinnati Reds. Eight White Sox players lost the game on purpose, working with gamblers for profit. The club owner, Charles Korniski, was known for underpaying his players and forbidding them from switching teams via strict contracts. This is what allegedly drove the players to look for a different way to earn money. Eight players were accused of plotting together with gamblers, although it remains uncertain to which extent each of the players was involved. The White Sox threw the game on purpose, but the conspiracy was soon brought to light and the players faced trial. Although the eight accused players weren't punished by law, they were all banned from playing professional baseball. The following show is paid programming and does not necessarily express the views and opinions of Urban Broadcast Media and its subsidiaries. Thank you for listening to UBM Praise. It's Fireside Friday! Sit back, relax, grab some tea and crumpets, and let's talk about the current events of the week. Right here on the Sir Walter Jones Show. SWJ listeners, here are your investigative reports for Friday, April 15th, 2016. Pastored Update. A federal judge will decide the fate of the longest-running Speaker of the House under the Clinton and Bush administration, Dennis Hastert, later this month. But maybe not before hearing from one of the five former Yorksville High School students who federal prosecutors say was sexually abused decades ago by Hastert when he worked at the school as a wrestling coach. Federal prosecutors say the alleged victim, known only as Individual D., might take the stand April 27th during Hastert's sentencing. Up until last week, very little was known about Individual D or the other students, but more details have emerged. $3.5 million was paid in hush monies. Wrongfully convicted? A judge vacated the conviction of 76-year-old Jack Mikhailov. Convicted in 2012, Mikhailov was serving a life sentence. This was the oldest unsolved case to go to trial for the 1957 slaying of seven-year-old Maria Ridolf. Prosecutors re-examine evidence that Mikhailov couldn't have committed the crime, being 35 miles away when the second grader was abducted. The judge released him on bond until a new trial is had. Library charges. A Michigan couple faced criminal charges Why? Failure to return and losing, not one, but two Dr. Seuss library books. Back in 2014, the couple had checked out the Seuss book for their son, but lost it. Then they took out another Seuss book and failed to return it. The library sent the couple a letter stating either return the books or face charges. The couple offered to pay late fees, but it was too late. They received a misdemeanor for failure to return property and each had to pay a $100 bond to avoid jail time. Don't forget to file. If you're like many Americans waiting until the 15th to file, don't worry. The IRS has extended the Friday, April 15th deadline to Monday, April 18th. Here are your poll positions. Just so you know, Trump has a new motto. Believe me. I know what I'm doing. Here are your delegate standings. On the Democratic side, Clinton, 1,790. Sanders, 1,113. On the Republican side, Trump, 758. Cruz, 538. And Kasich, 145. This day in history, 1912. The British luxury liner Titanic sank in the North Atlantic off Newfoundland less than three hours after striking an iceberg. About 1,500 people died. This is Marilyn Keeter reporting live for the Sir Walter Jones Show. Sir Walter, now back to you in the studio. Get up. 
We finally got a piece of the pie. I finally got a piece of the pie. Hey, babe, I'm back. What's for dinner? <laughs> so what's your show? <laughs> I'm, I'm serious, though. What is for dinner? <laughs> That's all I had. Uh, just chicken. said pie. Pie. Oh, that's so true. Conspiracy pie. <laughs> conspiracy pie. <laughs> yeah, if you just tune in, uh, we're talking about conspiracies. Conspiracy theories, man. We went up and down the ladder with all this stuff that y'all be thinking about. Who shot JR? Mm-hmm. Well, um, who did shoot JR? I forgot her name. Wasn't that Lou Ellen? Lou Ellen? His wife, Silk? Uh, Sue Ellen's sister. Sue Ellen's sister? Oh, that nah, chick. How you know that? Yeah. It was all there for you. Yeah, she right. was. Uh, her parents didn't even meet around that time. Okay. <laughs> oh, not. Nah. Yeah, yeah. Stop it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Art Lewis is on the Facebook wall, and he's saying Malcolm X, <clears throat> Martin Luther King, and Meg uh, Edwards mm. were targets for the government, military security. The Cold War made the powers that be paranoid that if the USSR, Russia, decided to invade America soil, the black population would rise up and revolt against the government and side with Russia being led by these three individuals. You have to remember this was only a few years after the Cuban Missile Crisis. Okay, I knew he was going there. Mm -hmm. Malcolm put himself in the crosshair by gathering allies from other countries to petition petition the UN to place sanctions on the United States for civil rights violations. Ironically, now the UN just announced that they have ruled that the United States owes reparation to African Americans. Did you mm-hmm. hear that news? Yep. See, and sure that's something Malcolm was ahead of his time. It sure was. Uh, violation, just as the United States uh, had done uh, to other countries for the same t- crime, uh, this would have got America hard financially and uh, killed their credibility. Martin's march, uh, he was planned in uh, D.C., was the deciding factor for him to be el- uh, eliminated uh, the plan was to get him and Andrew Young on the way to D.C. But Martin decided to stop at Memphis, when gave, uh, which gave them a better opportunity. There were two army snipers and a mafia gunman the army was not aware of. The mafia guy who fired first. By the time the two snipers communicate with one another to find out if either had taken the shot, it was time to bug out the mafia shooter handed his gun off to the guy who died in jail for shooting Martin. And, uh, of course we know he, uh, you look at some of the videos of him in there with his boyfriend in the jailhouse. He started what? wearing panties and sh- what? they turned him out. Huh? They turned him out, man, turned him out. Oh, the mob left him um, out. the powers that be at that time felt that there would be a riot in DC, uh, because Martin, and over 200 black men were going to march be- between the Capitol building to lobby for, you know, art must work for the uh, CIA. Because uh, if he, <laughs> he just solved all of our problems. Okay. Uh, uh, art, art Lewis is a, is a friend of the show. Mm-hmm. And his daughter goes to Eve Cook School, by the way. Uh Yeah. Martin uh, Andover, I just thought I'd put that there so that y'all <laughs> won't think that he's just my friend. Uh, and over 200 black men were going to march between the Capitol building to lobby for legislation change. Uh, the powers that be felt they would be coming enraged because they had no intentions of complying and riot. Okay, I'm almost at the end. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the only part that J. Edgar Hoover played in this whole thing mm-hmm. was uh, the part of the carrier to the Pentagon, the details of which has happened to be buried. This info was made public over 15 years ago, just like this comment is 15 <laughs> years <laughs> long. Uh, yet people still concoct overly complexes, complex conspiracies about the matter, like as you did here. Uh, the family even won a wrongful death suit against the government, yet no one has even done a double take and uh, go what the H. All right. Okay. Whew. I'm tired. That exhausted me. Reading is hard. Reading is difficult when, when Art Lewis types. <laughs> Can you imagine how he said it? <laughs> <Can> you- <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, see, the whole thing is matter. Wait, you see, see. And then I was and like, you didn't say. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Art's a good friend, though. He's a good guy. Uh, <clears throat> I will not be reading anything from him anymore. He's, he, he, he typed enough for three shows. Uh, Natalie Book says, I trust and believe uh, that if you have a, a social security number, you can be collected on. Yeah, that's so so true. Yes, it is. Now she brought. He did uh, brought up uh, the great J. Edgar Hoover, and hence the conspiracy. Mm-hmm. Because mm-hmm. I work in a community where a lot of people don't have social security numbers, mm-hmm. right? Because they come from another country. Mm-hmm. That's what they say. Okay. Sure. And so they qualify for free lunch, mm-hmm. and they get all these different things, mm-hmm. and they're not required to have what we are required to have. But yet yep. they get more benefits because they don't have what we're required to have. Yes. So, sometimes we rush to get those social security numbers. We rush for this and that. And they have children here. Mm-hmm. And they don't hurry to give them those social security numbers. Mm-hmm. Right. Because they've been told, you don't mm-hmm. need it right now. Mm-hmm. Hold on, wait. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And if they absolutely have to get one, they get yours. Yes. Somebody was working on my social security number. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And you your, your, your Yeah, and your, your... Yeah, they got... They got they caught them. Because, sure. in fact... Um, <laughs> I was nine years old mm. the, when it started. So when I started filing income taxes, stuff hit the fan. I said, well, I was nine years old then. How was I making $40,000 a year? Mm. Mm. And your number is coded. You know that, right? Now it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, your number has always been coded. Well, I see the they, code. Yeah. 666. Yeah. That's yeah, the code. Yeah. No, that's they, the code. They know, they know you are through mm-hmm. the code. The uh, combination of those numbers, whatever mm-hmm. they are, will mm-hmm. always come up to a sum mm-hmm. or difference, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. factor or quotient of six. Sure, sure. The mm-hmm. three, the two, the three. Mm-hmm. I mean, the three, the two, the four. When you work them and put them, you know, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that's my conspiracy. That's yeah. the mark of the beast. Sure. Yeah. All right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you ask for conspiracy, and they can tell what your race is by Based the on your social security number. Yes, the code mm-hmm. I was talking about by mm-hmm. the. The fifth number. Yeah, so mm-hmm. that's where I'm mm-hmm. talking about. Yep. Because you look at all your look at your siblings' numbers. I bet all your numbers are even. Mm-hmm. Come on now, that's the whole point. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right, <clears throat> and uh, all the you know all the things we do. The, the numbers system really is a system of coding mm-hmm. uh, from from your zip code on down. The zip code is uh, zone improvement. The that's what zip is, zone <laughs> improvement. Why does it only have to be improved? Yeah, well, that's a system set up during the Eisenhower, I believe, administration. Because he's the one that's he went down there to Germany, and he saw that autobahn. All right, if you ever been to Germany, there's no, um, there is no speed li- limit. Speed limit. Mm-hmm. And he saw the autobahn. He says that is a magnificent idea. Yeah, they can get around. Yeah, and he mm-hmm. came. He, so he, he came started back the interstate system, and he he set up the interstate system through that. And I think it's one of the greatest things he. Uh, uh, one of the greatest acts of any president, actually, uh, is the interstate system. <clears throat> uh, but <clears throat> Amaro Kohal says, uh, any fans of the X-Files, he's asking, y'all remember Cancer Man, Mulder's father? I can see an individual or even a couple of individuals, no more than about three, having their hands in everything mm-hmm. over the course of their individual lives. No, yeah, yeah I see that. Uh now it says I got a dash off to uh, <laughs> Super Secret Club, <laughs> also known as the Band Rehearsal. <laughs> Don't worry, it'll be on Spreaker sometime tonight. Uh, okay, well, let's see. What else I got here in my bag of tricks? Because um, this thing here, man, let's talk about the New World Order. Oh, oh, NWO. Wow. Yes. Yeah, man, Hulk Hogan, uh, yeah. <laughs> Dead Nash. Not uh, that new world. Uh, 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 what's the other tall guy? And then, the uh, Justice League. Uh, and then, uh, man, come that was the Justice baddest League. wrestling game. Man, I used to love New World Love You, man. Yeah. Uh-huh. Monday night, I wouldn't go on rehearsal until after I saw them come out. Okay, <laughs> yeah, okay. all right. All right you this conspiracy theory <laughs> states that a group of international elites controls the, and manipulates governments. Mm-hmm industry, and media organizations worldwide. Uh, The primary tool they use to dominate nations is the system of central banking. Uh, They are said to have funded and, in some cases, caused most of the major wars of the last 200 years to carry out false flag attacks, to manipulate populations into supporting them, and to have a grip on the world economy. 
uh, deliberately causing inflation and depression at will. Operatives working for the New World Order are said to be placed in high position in government and industry. The people behind the New World Order are thought to be international bankers, in particular the owner of the private banks in the Federal Reserve System and other central banks and members of the Council of Foreign Relations. I know they are. That's the, that's the CFR, y'all. Mm. The Trilateral Commission, I know them. And the Bilderberg, we just mentioned them earlier. Uh, the New World Order is also said to control uh, supranational. That's supranational, all right? That's the difference in supranational and supra. All right, y'all Google it. I'll tell you what that is later. And global organizations such as the European Union, the United Nations, World Bank, International Monetary Fund, and the proposed North American Union. Okay, you got your, your dollars getting ready to change, y'all. The term gained popularity following its use in the early 1990s by President George H.W. Bush when he referred to his dream of a new world order in his p- speech to the United States Congress, September 11, 1990. How ironic is that? September 11, oh. 1990. That's bef- way before that thing mm-hmm. happened. Mm-hmm. Claimed motivations behind the New World Order conspiracy vary, but a commonly suggested end er- goal for the conspiracy is the creation of a one world government mm-hmm. through which the conspir- conspirators would exert absolute dominance over the earth and eliminate all sources of dissent through microchip control. Pretty much everything I read is the is the Antichrist. Yes. yes. Everything yes. I just everything read. That, that that that's all revelation. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <coughs> yeah. I believe in a new world order. I believe there's something set in place right now for that to happen. It's called um, and his government shall be upon his shoulders. Yes. That's a, that's exactly what it is. Uh we have the EU, we have the American dollar and we have all these other um uh, types of monies. The yen and uh, the, the franc, and uh, man, I, 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 can you pull up all of the mon- monetary names? Pull, can you pull the it marks? Up? Pull it yeah, the pull yen, up. the lira, yeah. mm-hmm. the francs, yeah, uh, the dollar, mm-hmm. the, <coughs> the Chinese uh, money. I forget the name of it. Yeah, I think you said it already. Yeah. No. Yen? Oh yeah, the yen. yen no, yen. no, the yen was the Japanese. Okay, the Chinese. Yes. Uh, the Korean. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, all that's in place. <laughs> okay. And it's really, everything is about money. Okay. The central bank or the reserve bank or the monetary authority is what they call it. It's an institution that manages a state's, uh, a state's currency or its money supply and its interest rates. Uh, the fed, who's the new fed now? Um, uh, Rumsfeld is gold. Is it, yeah, Rumsfeld. Not Rumsfeld. No, That's the, uh, no. That was uh, Secretary of Defense. No, 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 no. no. His name. Uh, 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 gosh. A, B, C, D, E. <laughs> Here it comes. Here it comes. <laughs> I forgot that man. His name is. I know I just, the, 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 the guy with the thick glasses. He was. He, yeah, he, that's long, what I'm he, looking at. Well, he, he's been gone. Um, um, all right. Well, I guess I got Peter Houston off. I don't know. <laughs> It's a lot of them. Elder. Uh, oh, you okay? Ah, All right. Well, <laughs> Janet them. Yellen, I think, is now the chair of the Federal Reserve. Janet Yellen, but the, yes, yeah, but the, but who's the little but short guy? What's the guy with the thick glasses? That's right before her. Him. He, he was uh, Ben 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 Bur, uh, Bernanke. I think that is. No, Ben Bernanke was before, even after him. The guy who was most popular. Yeah, Ben Bernanke fact, was after uh, him. It, it's um, what that man name. We're going to find him. <laughs> We're going to find him, man. <coughs> okay, what you got, uh, young lady? You you want me to read all of this? You just start reading them. Okay, because they're going by uh, states and territory. Uh, let me see. You mentioned the euro, uh, the British pound, uh, the East Caribbean dollar. Um, What's the name? Greenspan. Thank you. The St. Helena Pound. Oh. Uh, it's a lot. Uh, oh, yeah. The Brazilian dollar, the West African dollar, uh, of course, the United States. Uh, Brazilian real. Um, 
it's a lot. Mm-hmm. It's a lot. It's a lot of people. A lot of nations. They all got them. Definitely a lot of nations. Uh, the Cuban. Cuban what? The Cuban convertible pesos. Oh, pesos. Convertible mm-hmm. pesos. Is this mm-hmm. a car without no? I mean, a dollar without no uh, <laughs> roof. <laughs> pesos without roof. Rag top dollar. Ooh, the East Caribbean dollar. It's it, yeah, they're going by uh, different nations. The regions. The Kenyan dollar. It's a lot of them. I see. So, do you believe that the new world order, that the one world religion, will emerge out of that new world order as well? The one. The, will I do? I believe what now? Does do you believe what? that a one world religion will emerge out of new world order? Mm-hmm. Well, uh, n- yes and no. Okay. He, Here's what I believe. Um, the, the I believe that there there are three religions, main religions mm-hmm. we do know, right? Judaism and uh, Christianity, and of course Catholicism. No, Catholicism is not a religion. No, it's part of Christianity. Yeah, it's part of Christianity. Uh, Islam. Islam. The big three. Okay. Yeah, the big three. Okay. Okay. But Catholicism is. It's Christianity. Okay. That's what Catholicism is. Anything it spawned anything. Christianity. Yeah. Right. And, yeah. I mean, that's where the rest of us are Protestants. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Right. It's like the rest of the world is uh, Gentile. <laughs> sure is. <laughs> sure but is. of the Christian religions, mm-hmm. Catholicism is at the top of the list, though. Well, they are the, the wealthiest church in the world. They're the largest. They're a billion strong. Yeah. Um, and they have the, the biggest influence in Christianity mm-hmm. over any, any anybody in Christianity, um, and um, of course the the Islam is huge right. and growing. It is all right, mm-hmm. and they are proselytizing all over the world. Mm-hmm. People are afraid, so they're joining. <laughs> you can't beat them, join them. Right. Okay. <clears throat> so I think that what the what's going to happen that's no different than under the Holy Roman Empire. Mm-hmm. People was joining because they were afraid because Constantine was mm-hmm. the emperor and they were becoming Christians mm-hmm. by label but not Christian by sure. conversion yeah. or by love. Same with that because the, yeah. the next whoever gets the most power the, or generates the most fear or whatever it may be, those people who are now they will convert or change. Yeah. No, I agree with that. Um and so <laughs> I think history will repeat itself. Remember back in the medieval time, mm-hmm. um, remember the, around the time when Constantine came on the scene, okay. there were other religions, mm-hmm. but Constantine mm-hmm. insisted mm-hmm. that Rome would become a Christian nation. Mm-hmm. Hence Christendom. Hence, hence <laughs> Christendom. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, I don't believe he was sincere, no. You no, don't? He, nope, I don't believe I do. he was. I don't I believe do. he was sincere, no. I think it was all politically based. No, I do yeah. because of how he came to the Epiphany. Mm-hmm. He was at a, a unwinnable battle. Yeah. That he was advised not to go into in fear, mm-hmm. he almost didn't take the battle, no. and he said, "Under this sign, go ye." And he saw the sign of the cross, and that's what. And when he got the victory, he gave God the glory for it. I believe Constantine was, I believe how sincerely Constantine was sincere, but the Catholic leadership and the political people around him were not. But because he had the power, he went with it. I don't believe that. I, I believe he had enough chicken in him. Yeah, well, we yeah. always have those. He had too much chicken in him, and uh, he, they didn't eat chicken over there. They ain't cheap. Yeah, yeah, he. Uh, it did. <laughs> yeah, he. <laughs> I don't believe none of that. Now, the sovereign citizen movement is a loose grouping you of even there. American and Canadian, <laughs> li- but you were I and read the Canadian book. litigants, commentators, tax uh, protesters, and financial scheme promoters. Self-described sovereign citizens take the position that they are answerable only to their particular interpretation of the common law and are not subject to any statutes or proceedings at a, the federal, state, or municipal levels. It's a sovereign citizen movement, y'all. Uh, Lady Rochelle, I see you. I see you. Um, and um, I had never heard of them, believe it or not. But... Uh, they got stuff written up on them. Play this last file here. Come back and further answer your question. Thank you. Yeah, because I, I get interrupted by this guy on the right. I mean, every time I try to answer it, he jumps in with some conspiracies. So, Walter Junction. <laughs> oh, no. Did you miss part of today's show? Well, just head to Spreaker.com. That is Spreaker, S-P-R-E-A-K-E-R. 
dot com and type in the Sir Walter Jones show to get today's episode and past ones. So do it now. Over the years, many have been very suspicious of the government and the CIA is often the subject of conspiracy theories. Every once in a while, it is revealed that one of the alleged conspiracies is actually true. A prime example of this is the so-called Operation Mockingbird. This top secret project was launched by the CIA with the goal of buying influence and control over major media outlets. It was with the Cold War underway that the CIA decided the control of the media would be a great weapon. Journalists were to be put on CIA payroll, and although it is yet to be proven, many insist that this is still going on today. The list of appointed agents included journalists from ABC, NBC, CBS, Time, Newsweek, and Copley News Service. The CIA had successfully infiltrated the nation's business, media, and universities with thousands of operatives. The project ended with the scandalous reveal, or so we're told. Pulitzer Prize Award winner Gary Webb is a journalist who gained prominence by exposing the CIA's involvement with cocaine trafficking. He was working with LAPD narcotics officer turned whistleblower Michael Rupert and the CIA contractor pilot Terry Reid. Webb's controversial piece entitled Dark Alliance was the most talked about piece of journalism in 1996 and the most infamous article of the decade. Webb revealed to the nation and to the world that the Reagan administration and the CIA were involved in cocaine trafficking trafficking in Central America. According to Webb, the government had been crafting in the trade of drugs. The money earned was used to fund the Contra rebels during the war in Nicaragua. The Contras were rebel groups active in the 80s and 90s. In the early stages of the war, the Contras were openly funded by the U.S. government. After the involvement of the U.S. was banned by Congress, the government eventually had to find an alternative way of funding the cause. The CIA had yet another controversial project in the 60s and 70s. Secretly, the agency was developing the heart attack gun. Taxpayer money was secretly used to develop this unbelievable weapon. Its existence was revealed in 1975 during a hearing committee led by Frank Church. At the hearing, Church actually presented the CIA's top secret weapon. The gun is electrically powered by a battery and fires a bullet of frozen water mixed with shellfish toxin. Once the bullet enters the target, it melts without a trace, except for a small red mark on the victim at the point of entry to the body. The bullet affects the body in such a way that the official cause of death of the victim is always ruled as a heart attack. The weapon was developed in order to allow CIA to commit assassinations that could never be traced back to them. This enabled the CIA to murder a number of people, with the death seemingly being innocent. Many believe that the weapon is still being used today. In 1994, the Wright Laboratory, part of the U.S. Air Force, produced a three-page proposal for a project with the draft name Gay Bomb. Wright Lab requested a six-year, $7.5 million grant to produce a wide range of non-lethal weapons. These scientists developed an idea which would allegedly turn all enemy soldiers into homosexuals. They wanted to create a bomb that contained chemicals which would make the soldiers affected by them irresistibly attracted to one another. The theory was that this would be a huge distraction for the soldiers and render them incapable of proper combat. This outlandish idea was just one in the line of many other questionable ideas, such as the bad breath bomb and bombs designed to attract swarms of stinging insects. The Pentagon stated that they were interested in the development of non-lethal weapons, but the project in question was never approved. The notorious Order of the Illuminati is not fictional, as many today think. It was a secret society founded in 1776 in Ingolstadt by Adam Weishaupt. Weishaupt was the first lay professor of canon law at the University of Ingolstadt. The Illuminati movement consisted of free thinkers, secularists, liberals, republicans, and pro-feminists. The members were recruited in the Masonic lodges of Germany with the goal of opposing superstition, religious influence, and state power. In 1785, the order was infiltrated by government agents and allegedly broken down. Action was taken against the secret society for fear of them succeeding in overthrowing the monarchy and state religion. In the 18th century, it was suspected that the Illuminati was still operational, and they were blamed for the French Revolution and the Reign of Terror. The Illuminati were accused of being revolutionists who were attempting to secretly orchestrate a world revolution in order to spread the ideals of the Enlightenment. Amongst those ideals are anti 
monarchism and an anti-patriarchy. Since then, a number of influential people have claimed that the government never fully succeeded in breaking down the Illuminati and that they are still operating. Numerous conspiracy theories are ongoing, and many people believe that the Illuminati have great control over the world even today. Welcome back to the Sobhans Jones Show. I'm here and them and us. Are you sure? We. <laughs> it's just us. I don't believe it. Yeah. It's just us. Going on. I don't think you're the guy that used to be here last week. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. And speaking of local conspiracies, um, we're still being profiled here. Um, Is it true that that's not the real Paul McCartney? That's another conspiracy. I'm glad you brought that up. <laughs> and what about the number nine in him? <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it, man. I can't do it. What'd you say? Oh, man. Oh, Tupac is definitely still Tupac. alive. Oh, yeah. He did. Yeah. I've seen him. i seen him with Elvis. <laughs> they was, uh, no, Elvis is dead. No, no, what? Elvis is dead, but Get Tupac is still alive. Okay. Get out of here, man. That's that's not That can't be right. Come on, man. I, now, Elvis is dead. I saw the funeral. Well, but I, Tupac's still alive. I'm waiting on Michael Jackson to stop playing around. Now, Mike is still living. Yeah, he's still living because he keep coming out with records. Not just that. <laughs> <laughs> Tupac, too. Yeah, he too. Wait a minute. I remember when he died. Mm -hmm. And then <laughs> when the I Ain't Manager video came out, mm -hmm. uh, one of the guys said, wait a minute, a student. I'll never forget it. How Tupac did? He got on the new Jordans in that video. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I can't argue with you, man. I can't argue, dog. <clears throat> All right, let me ask you a question real quick. Okay, here's what I emphatically believe in okay. my heart of hearts. Okay. I can't, there's no document. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. About the world. About what I'm getting ready to say. Uh-oh. Okay. All right. Here's this, what I, this here's is what I believe. This a conspiracy? Yeah, this is Sir Walter's conspiracy. Okay. Now, I believe this is eschatology at its best. Oh. Okay. At my best. Oh, Lord. All right. Mm -hmm. I believe in my heart of hearts mm -hmm. uh, that it was ordained by God mm -hmm. that President Barack Obama be the president. I believe that. Not because he is the best mm -hmm. for the nation, mm -hmm. but because he will implement uh, programs mm -hmm. and policies and things for our nation, mm -hmm. both moral and immoral, mm -hmm. so that it could open the door for the Antichrist to come. Right. All right. I believe that the president had to be a, Repu a, a, a Democrat, not a Republican at this time. Mm -hmm. I believe that George Bush had to be in office mm -hmm. to spark the war mm -hmm. of Iraq and Afghanistan, mm -hmm. okay, and the other little scuffles that we have, mm -hmm. to stir up the, those in Islam, mm -hmm. Muslims, ISIS, ISIL, what have you. Okay, it's all, it's all a, it's a, you play chess. Yes. Uh, okay, this is a chess game. Mm -hmm. All right? And it is it is by the hand of God that this is happening. Right. Okay? Barack Obama had to come in here, mm -hmm. solve uh, some things, some problems, mm -hmm. make things a little easier. appear to have solved. So, or to appear, right. absolutely. Mm -hmm. Serve Sounds for like the eight, to me. I, I'm telling tell you, serve for eight years. Right. He is not the Antichrist. When no, they I first said he was, right. I'm not talking about you, but mm -hmm. when they kept saying he was, they said he cannot be. No, he is not, not him. Mm -hmm. I, I knew he was going to get back in for the next four years. Mm -hmm. He had to. Mm -hmm. God was not done. Mm -hmm. All right? Uh, because he had to uh, cause the bigotry, xenophobia, mm -hmm. and the hatred mm -hmm. long enough to reach a certain place. to reach a certain point, so mm -hmm. so that Donald Trump can enter into the scene. Right. All right. Mm -hmm. A Donald Trump or a Donald Trump-like mm -hmm. person. Mm -hmm. We're not saying Donald Trump is going to be the president, but but a Donald Trump had to come on the scene. Right. All right. And of course, Hillary Clinton. All right. Now, uh, it, it probably will go to Clinton. All right, but again, it's all it's all this plan here. Uh, now, I believe that the next person have to continue mm -hmm. in the spirit of the and Antichrist, agenda. right? Okay, the of the immorality because they they they, they, they sound they, like a Sanders to me. They, the gays mm -hmm. or, or Sanders, okay. I'm right. just thinking. I'm thinking it's Clinton because of what I'm seeing, but mm -hmm. it could be Sanders it could be. because of the socialistic way, okay. Right. 
but the the it the the foundation have to be laid for him, or he can't come in mm -hmm. because when the Antichrist like come Hitler, in, it had to be it's a there situation for it someone had to like be that chaos to right. for someone to solve because he's going to bring a false peace. That's the false peace, and when the Bible says when they say peace and safety, then right. sudden destruction will come. Mm -hmm. It is uh, what we call. Um, I think I love what uh, Apostle David Rogers was here, and he talked about how ignorance is lucrative. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, mm -hmm. and that's what's happening the fortune here. Of failure, it is the fortune of failure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, uh, so the next person is going to take us to another four to eight years into the immorality of our country. Exactly. What's going to happen is we're going to be breached. Our borders will be breached again. Nine one one. It was only a precursor. Mm -hmm. It's just an introduction. Mm -hmm. Okay. But the breach borders in our yeah. country, because of the geographic location, mm -hmm. I believe, have always been strategically done inside. Yes. Because yes. we're too far away from all our enemies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, for them to just be able to do that. Right. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, it's it, it's too much to secure and mm -hmm. keep safe. Mm -hmm. so, I mean, so when you think about the twin towers coming down, right. and we just talked about the families that own the Federal Reserve, sure. Mm -hmm. Oh, they they had to be a warned ahead of time. Okay, get your stuff out, mm -hmm. and you know, so the trickling effect or the chattering, as you mentioned earlier. Yeah. So when our borders are breached, our borders are breached because we want them breached. I believe that as well. Now, when 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 the Civil War took place. The other countries were waiting. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. like, yes, we got them, we got them mm -hmm. at odds. Mm -hmm. Let's pounce and let's attack. Because sure. England has never forgiven, and still they call us the colonies. Sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they yeah, still they do. do. They do. Um, the War of 1812, mm -hmm. they was trying to get them back. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The French-Indian War. Mm -hmm. It's like, friends, like, I want a piece of that pie. Yeah. So we have always been the enemy of the world. How did we be, all of a sudden become the partner or the, uh, you know, of the world other, the other than mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. People from those places came in and said, we can't beat them, join them. And then they take over from within. Yes, mm -hmm. absolutely. Yes. Uh, and I I, um, I believe what's going to happen is, of course, our dollars have always been getting weak, 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 weak by the decade. All right. All right? And after a while, it's going to be worth absolutely nothing. Because mm -hmm. we, we used to hold the power uh, of the world because we held all the gold. Mm -hmm. Over there in that penitentiary over there mm -hmm. at, at Fort Knox, we held all the gold of the world, mm -hmm. and uh, so we the monies, the dollars, really mm -hmm. uh, was a legal tender in exchange mm -hmm. for gold. They yes. used to they used to used to be able to go down to the bank and get gold pieces. Until right. the, the more lucrative use of mm -hmm. oil, mm -hmm. and now sure. the lucrative use of oil is depleting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and there's another there's another uh, sure subst substantial. Technically, technically, an invaluable thing because <laughs> gold is just a rock. Yeah, but it's an element. But it, it is. But we've placed value on it. We well, and gold, oil is just dead dinosaurs. But we've placed value on it because we got use for it. But gold is the way still. Gold. Oh, it's the, the standard. It's it still is, the standard. It is, it is it's the, the way. Standard. It is the only way right now. What we have right now is legal tender. It's backed by nothing. You, t it's worth only by. Uh, uh, an agreement. That's what this dollar is worth. Right. A promissory note. It's what it is. Right. Now, your boy, I, I shall not, what I will not tell a lie or Nixon. not. not what did he say? Nick, I'm not a crook. Nixon, 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 yeah. Nixon. Yeah. Nixon. I have my consonants. My beginning consonants are off. Yeah. That's what, that's exactly what's happening. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Richard Nixon. Yeah. Richard Nixon. Nixon. Come on. Richard Nixon. Rick, they call him Tricky Dicky. <laughs> 1971. <laughs> He took the dollar, the gold standard. Mm -hmm. He changed all of that. Mm -hmm. right, now he, he he had to do that mm -hmm. for, for because the world was getting ready to pull uh, pull he them. He didn't do nothing. He was just Did, there moderating the meeting. Didn't matter, <laughs> right? Well, how, how you say redeem? Mm -hmm. The world was getting ready to redeem. It was a cash in on what they was owed, mm -hmm. and we it would have wiped us out. Mm -hmm. So he said, nope. I'm going to freeze this. Mm -hmm. Remove the gold standard. Mm -hmm. Okay? And take this dollar, and mm -hmm. I'm going to promise you that it's worth a dollar. And here's the deal. Mm -hmm. If any country actually tries to redeem on a loan, there's a fight. It's going to break out. Yeah, of course. You know, how, you know how people are. They get mad. Hey, man, you know that money on me? Yeah. We're going to fight. Yeah. Because either you're going to beat me up and mm -hmm. say, take it, or either we're going to get in, you're going to not speak to me, then there's a conflict. Sure. That's just human nature when you don't want to pay back. People yeah. People fight. So when that time comes... Mm -hmm. And the next big, re the next real war takes place because that 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 war on terror was not a war because you can't sure. fight a concept. No, right. you can't. And that was just to keep the insurance companies from cashing in. Mm -hmm. uh, there's going to be a war to get us out of debt because mm -hmm. sure. that's the deal that happened with WW2. Mm -hmm. That's what happened with WW1, mm -hmm. and it puts some. The loser goes into debt, mm -hmm. and the winner comes out. Sure, and we're not going to lose. Right. Even right. though they say we will, <clears throat> we won't. Yeah, because it's too much vetted in, in us winning. 
Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Okay. We we we're no more powerful as we were. We're not number one in nothing. Exactly. <laughs> other so than, they say. Other than jail. And 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 uh, health medicine. And who do you think they okay. could trust me? If we get low in battles and low in soldiers, mm-hmm. what's going to happen? There's mm-hmm. a whole other reserve of sure. angry, bitter, mm-hmm. wanting yeah. to kill. Go out there, come on, fight. Well, yeah, they go to the Don, they go to Donald Trump r- 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 rallies, and you see them. They're there. Okay, these are the guys who are coming out of the trailers. All right, but uh, so here's what I think is going to happen. And going to go into the biblical aspect, the the nation will get weaker and weaker. Right. If you go into the Bible, you won't see us. You you think you you think that we're there, but you don't really see us. You see things that seem like it represents us mm-hmm. or resembles us. Bad you see, you might see eagle, you might see the west, you might see some things in there, but when you really look at it, really that's that's uh, uh, European territories. You see Russia in there, uh, Rosh, uh, and um, the, the nations of. Uh, Ezekiel and the dry bones and all these things. Okay, um, but I think what's going to happen to us is that we will get so weak, and then we probably will get bombed again. Mm-hmm. Okay, but it's going to be a m- much more destructive. Exactly. And I think what's going to happen is we're going to have to join a legion with someone. Mm-hmm. Uh, and um, that's Sounds why. Sounds like Pearl Harbor. Yeah, we're going to join legions with someone, mm-hmm. and which will not make us. Because back in the war, in the war when we joined Legion, we still was number one, right. even though we joined Legion with someone. Mm-hmm. Okay, for instance, when we when we lined up with France, mm-hmm. okay, it still was us then France. Right. Okay, when we, when we lined up with Brit, it was us then the Brits. Mm-hmm. Okay, we was the power. Now, it, it, it eventually, it will not be that way, mm-hmm. and I believe um, we're gonna get so weak uh, because the the. Islam is growing by leaps and bounds. They're becoming very powerful. We 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 shucking the jive and us thinking that they're not as powerful as they are. They're huge. Mm-hmm. Uh, they would be like the Gideon army, mm-hmm. in a sense, because you know God's not impressed with numbers, and I think He's going to allow mm-hmm. the enemy to to be powerful over us mm-hmm. to uh, weed out the goats and the sheep, <laughs> the wheat and the tear. Right. He's going to have to clean this nation up because he's already judged. He's already judged us. Oh, God. And he judged us from those nine men that sit in them chairs over there. I think y'all call them the Supreme Court justices. That's mm-hmm. what they call them. Wasn't yeah. Samson a judge? Yeah, yes. he was. See there? Absolutely. <laughs> so, so God's going back down to the judge of the soul system. Y'all call yourselves the kingdom, kingdom of God. He said, oh, you're gonna, that's what you're going to call yourself? That's fine. Because mm-hmm. that's what I've established. I'm going to treat you like a kingdom. And, uh, but I'm going to take you back to the original. The judges, <laughs> and I'm gonna judge the judge. <laughs> okay, so those men and how many women we got? In, we got one or two over there. Two, two now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. God's going to judge, um, and we're gonna become a weak nation. And then um, uh, the Antichrist will. It'll be easier for him to come in and, and do his thing, and he's going to cause peace. He's gonna fix problems. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be great for y'all. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Cause I'm not gonna be here. I ain't gonna be here. Oh, you believe in the pre-trip? Huh? Oh, I'm, I'm straight pre-trip, man. Okay, I'm gonna take Brittany with me. I'm gonna get her saved first, <laughs> and then we gonna go sleeping through the city. <laughs> <laughs> Look on her face, <laughs> Bazinga! <laughs> Bazinga! <laughs> Bazinga. <laughs> yeah, I had a good one. <laughs> she gave you that Bazinga look. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and uh, some of the things that I did mention is in, in eschatology. It's in, in the Bible. That is. You go to the book of Daniel, and mm-hmm. then you have to go to the book of First Thessalonians. And then, of course, you got to mess around with Zephaniah, mm-hmm. Zechariah. Okay, go a little bit in Amos, and then you got to go into the book of Revelation. We're going to do a show on the end time as it pertains to how does the Antichrist come in mm-hmm. and our prediction on what's going to happen to our nation. Yes. Yeah, I believe we're going to be weakened to the point of uh, we're not. I'm not going to say we're going to be destroyed. No. I think there's too many remnants here that God would not allow that to happen. Mm-hmm. Uh, but more than ten, yeah, more than ten, absolutely. So all you folks that says <laughs> that God owes Sodom and Gomorrah an apology, yeah, there's more than ten righteous. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, so many of you, God was going to he he will rescue some mm-hmm. through the rapture, and others will have to stay here, mm-hmm. and they'll have to be taken up during the tribulation, but they're going to be beheaded, unfortunately. Right, that's true. So I suggest you get it right now, or you're going don't lose your head over this. <laughs> Don't lose your head over this. Okay, that goes on and on. Um, so I hope that answers some of the questions. Some of it, yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, I think you have, we have to do a whole show on that, yeah, though. Yeah, definitely. 
What's your take on it? On the New World Order? Yeah. Um, well... Because you think that there's probably going to be one one religion? I believe that it will, whatever religion it is, whatever order it is, it will completely bring in all the immorality. It mm-hmm. will definitely uphold that. Mm-hmm. So Christians, uh, Protestants, Catholics... Um, that's why we definitely have to know God's word right? because there's going to come a time when we won't have these physical Bibles. We're going to have to know God's word inside out. The book of Eli. Yeah, right. The book of Eli. Yeah. You know, so, um, there is going to be a one world religion. Yes. And that, as you said, is going to, and many people may say it's a conspiracy. Maybe they say it's a conspiracy uh-huh. as far as, uh, Christians are concerned, um, but there is going to be a one world religion that's brought into this new world order. I believe that. Yes. They, well, they have to be some type of uni, unified system. Exactly. Like it's like finances, mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. A, a, our money and the Mexican mm-hmm. money's and all this stuff. Mm-hmm. It's got to be unified to one system. Right. So that one system, uh, in order for us to really get along mm-hmm. without anarchy, there mm-hmm. must be also. But there's going to be a force to be in that one exactly. religious system like the right. Catholics force those mm-hmm. people to mm-hmm. become Catholic yes. or you be beheaded. Exactly. That's, that was the whole point of the medieval time. Mm-hmm. Uh, we ain't no different today. We're Christians. Mm-hmm. We won't talk to you unless you're one of us. Yes. And we kill y'all with our mouths. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. some of y'all do kill literally because y'all going down there to the abortion clinics and bombing folk. You crazy Christians, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I believe there will be um, a one system in, in religion as well, mm-hmm. and the Antichrist will rule over it. Mm-hmm. Now, you know, he has there's three there's the Antichrist, there's a false prophet, mm-hmm. and then of course, there's Satan himself, mm-hmm. and he comes as a trinity he of does. sorts because well, he's, he's trying to emulate Christ, everything, exactly. yeah, mm-hmm. right. yeah, you're trying to emulate God. Mm-hmm. Uh, and since the very beginning, he's been trying to do that. Mm-hmm. Get me out of here, Brett. Wow. Yeah. Alvin. Yes, sir. Who, who do we forget? We get anybody? Well, there's several conspiracies we have yet to cover. Okay. <laughs> uh, one conspiracy that we have yet to cover is the fact that we didn't have a controversial corner today. Oh, wow. But that's a conspiracy. Went that right through it. Yes. Well, but you I, know what? I, I this know. whole show was controversial <laughs> corner. So, so I won't talk about that. <laughs> Uh, then there's the conspiracy of That's pretty good. the, uh, as you say, the value of the dollar. The dollar may have lost its value, but a quarter still yeah. got its power. Yeah, sure. You can get a whole lot of stuff sure for a quarter can, with a kid. Hey, kid, you want yeah. this quarter? No. That's true. That's true. And then there's the other conspiracy. How come the UBM app be going out so much? Oh, my God. And it only goes out on our show at the yeah. time of 4 o'clock. So there's yeah. another conspiracy. <laughs> that is the conspiracy. You know, then there's the other conspiracy about, you know, politics, of course. Uh, but we're going to go into that because we're about to leave out of here. We don't want the police to turn it back on us. <laughs> um, Fire holes. Yes, yes. And then there's the conspiracy of you, the Sir Walter Jones himself. Uh-huh. Wow, of all days, Friday, Fireside Friday, you got to wear this sharp, shiny, <laughs> silky shirt. <laughs> Silky, silky, so oh, I got a hot thing going on now. I see, I see. Yeah, I got a hot yeah, thing I, I thought I was going to take you out for pizza today. I'm going to give you the It's a conspiracy. He cheating on me, y'all. He cheating on me. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise. Yeah, I get I got things. Father, as the old hymn says, Father alone will know all about it. Father alone will understand why. Cheer up, my brother, and live in the sunshine. We'll understand it all better. By and by. By and by. You keep living, you'll see. Yes. And look for the signs of the time. Okay, go into scripture and see what Jesus says. Look in the sky and you'll, you know the temperature. You know yes. the weather pattern. You say, it's going to rain today. Mm-hmm. But you can't tell the people of the signs of him coming again. Mm-hmm. See. Yes. Uh, so uh, please, let's not just be anchor men or sportscasters. Let's be meteorologists. Whoa. Yes. That's the whole wow. new show. That's the whole new show. That's right. Because a meteorologist can see into the future five, six days sometimes. He can tell you next Saturday it's gonna rain. It's gonna be fifty degrees. Mm-hmm. Anchor man can't tell you that. He tells you what's happening right now or what happened yesterday. And somebody else telling him and what to tell Somebody telling him in his ear. <laughs> <laughs> so God wants us to be meteorologists. All right, be a weatherman for the Lord. Yes. This is a Walter Hawkins. That means we in season. Yes, and, and out of season. season. Instant boy, boy, you man, <laughs> bring a raincoat, something, uh, and your shorts. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Eve Cook. Thank you. Marilyn Kita, the great Marilyn Kita and uh, the great Alvin Sakata. What is her uh, name? 
Marilyn Keaton. Eve. It's, Eve Cook. It's still my name. Yeah. Okay. I'm I'm, I'm being facetious. Okay. I'm yes. causing a conspiracy. Okay. <laughs> yes. And I'm letting a secret out, so I'll you see stop. That? You well, your secret is safe with me. And your daddy would be disappointed. I know. <laughs> Thank you, Pretty, for being on the board. <laughs> this is the great Walter Hawkins. He's saying, Lord, give us time. <coughs> give us time. Please. Don't come just yet. I got somebody I need to talk to. It's probably Brittany Monique. See y'all Monday, y'all Men's Chronicles. <laughs> Bazinga! <laughs> <laughs> on the Sir Walter Jones Show. Ladies and gents, if you missed any of today's show, head to Spreaker.com and search The Sir Walter Jones Show and listen to this show and past shows. Now remember, search for The Sir Walter Jones Show on Spreaker.com. That's Spreaker spelled S-P-R-E-A-K-E-R.com. And enjoy. You have been listening to The Sir Walter Jones Show where Sir Walter Jones provides you with a biblical perspective on everyday life. Stay connected to Sir Walter Jones at his website, www.sirwalterjones.com. Search The Sir Walter Jones Show on Facebook or follow on Twitter at Sir Walter's Music. Until next time, thank you for listening to The Sir Walter Jones Show with Sir Walter Jones. Right, Mr. Walters? Mm.